I created this AI agent for my company without any coding. The images are AI generated and everything was done with no code. Now this agent knows everything about my company. It even has the functionality to set up an appointment with a customer and it can set that up on your Google Calendar. As you can see right here, we have successfully set up an appointment on 6th of March at 10 a.m. And it hardly took me 10 minutes to build this amazing agent. And the best part, it is responsive. You can use this over a tablet and even mobile phone. And it can be distributed to multiple channels. So that won't be a problem. And the no-code tool that I use to create this amazing and powerful AI agent is dot form and i'm really excited to show you guys how you can do the same so let's dive right in over this amazing no code ai agent builder hi and welcome back to skill curve this is your host and we're at the dashboard for jord forms so once you sign up and log in into jord forms you will see a dashboard like this one where you can create a new form an ai agent an app and even an e-sign so in this video we're going to talk about how to create an ai agent so let's click on that and we have different channels to select from one is the standalone channel, which you can plug into your website. All limited as a separate page on the web. You can create a chatbot, which would look something like this. And you can even integrate this into a phone and have your customers on audio call using your AI agent. You can create a voice board where it's going to take in voice commands and give voice responses. It even supports platforms like WhatsApp and Messenger. So let's get started with this. So I'm just going to go ahead with standalone now. Hit next. And here we have four different options to create your AI agent. We can create this from scratch. We can start with a form. We can use a template. So there are plenty of different templates from which you can choose and you can clone yourself. So this is something interesting, but in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a fully functional AI agent using Jord forms from scratch. So I'm just going to go with start from scratch here. And here you can explain what your AI agent is going to be about. So mine is going to be a customer support representative for skill cup. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose the pre-built option here and let's go and create. Now, once you finalize what you want to build, you will see something like this, where you can design your standalone, your chat board, your voice agent, and much more right here. But I'm just going to go ahead and first design my standalone. So I can click right here. And now I can configure the standalone settings here. So this is the welcome screen and this is the menu. So in the welcome screen, I can choose what the name of this AI agent should be. So let's see, it's Alex. I'm just going to go ahead with this one. So in the description, I've said learn anything and everything about AI because our company is an education company that works in the AI niche. And as you can see, you can upload a logo as well and customize the button colors. And I think these buttons are somewhat close to a brand color. So I'm just going to leave them as it is. As for the call button, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that because this is going to be just a chat board. So let's go ahead and customize the menu now. As for the menu, I wanted to have chat, but I want to create this just chat oriented. Just want to remove the voice part here. I can remove the forms part as well. And I just wanted to have a chat and a chat history. I think this is more than enough for the customization of this page and how it should look. Now, as for the image and other aesthetics of the standalone agent, you can click here and you can choose any of these agents or you can generate your own. But for my setting, I think this one looks great. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as it is. I like this one. And you can even upload your own images. But I'm going to stick with this one for the style. I can choose different colors for the chart. Let's say I want to go with this color here. This is going to be the background. I can name the AI agent anything. So I'm just going to go ahead with the previous name. Alex. Then I can even upload a background image, but this color looks fine to me. I can go ahead with the chat style so I can swap different phone families from here. But I think the defaults are pretty good. Now I can choose the layout as well. So if I want the AI agent image to be on the left, it would look something like this. And if I want it to be on the right, it will look something like this. As for the company logo, I've chosen this logo here. So let's save that. And this should appear right here. And I think this is pretty good and I'm quite satisfied with this. I have to switch the logo later on with the vector image. For now, I think this is good enough. So the styling is good. Now let's actually go ahead with the training part. So let's click on train here. So the first thing they want you to do is add a knowledge base. You can add a knowledge base on a text-based information using a website URL or uploading a file. You can even go ahead with FAQs, but I'm going to go with the link. So for the first URL, I'm going to go ahead with the YouTube URL of our channel. So let's go and see if it can crawl information from the YouTube. So there you go. It has the Skill Cup YouTube page. And I just wanted to crawl the YouTube page. Nothing else. I think that's more than enough. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, 
it's going to take some time crawling the YouTube page. I can even go ahead on the text-based knowledge information. So for that, I have this text-based document. So now we have the YouTube page and the text-based information in our knowledge base. Now I'm going to go ahead with actions. So if something happens, do something. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and say if the user wants to. So here I'm going to type a state. So if the user wants to collaborate or they want to sponsor, I can go ahead and send the email. And here I can customize the email. So I can paste in the email content here. The user wants to sponsor or collaborate with us. Please reach out to the user regarding the pricing and other details. And I'm going to send this to my support team. So let's go and configure the recipient. So the sender's name, which will be a customer. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this action. There you go. So now when the user wants to collaborate or sponsor something on our YouTube or on our website, because we have a section where you can feature your tools, your AI agents, and you can even have advertisements and guest posts. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as it is. Now let's go to tools and I actually wanted to set an appointment for that collaboration. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on set appointment with Google Calendar. And here you will have to tell the agent when to actually use this tool. So whenever the user wants to collaborate or sponsor, you can put an appointment on Google Calendar to further discuss the offer. Now I can set up the availability. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit this. And I want this to be a really short conversation. So I'm just going to go with 30 minutes as for which intervals we're available at from 9 to noon. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose that. So there you go. We have the interval set. I'm going to go ahead and integrate my Google Calendar here. So this is how easy it is to actually set up your Google Calendar. You just sign up with your email and just hit continue. That's all. And it's going to ask us for some permissions. Let's go ahead and run that. So there you go. Our Google Calendar is now set. So whenever someone wants to collaborate or sponsor any video or any tool on our website, it's going to go ahead and book an appointment with them. So let's save that. And here you can integrate some forms. You can create a new form and collect data from the user. But for this case scenario, I think we do not need these forms for now. Now, this teach your agent tab is one of the best part of Jot Forms. You can actually talk with your agent and teach them about different information that the knowledge base does not have. So the first thing I'm going to feed it is that we collaborate on YouTube videos and accept sponsors. There you go. Now it knows about it. And the next knowledge that I want to add is that we also have an advertised feature on our website where you can feature your AI tool, your AI agents, have guest posts as well, and much more. So let's go ahead and send this. So this is going to be added to the knowledge base as well. And as you can see, the response here, I've saved the information that you collaborate on YouTube videos and accept sponsors. And there you go. It also went on and saved that advertised feature for AI tools. And here in the AI persona, I can name the agent, which we have already finalized. The agent role is going to be a customer support agent. As for the language, it's going to be English. I'm more optimistic about the friendly tone here. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as it is. As for the conversation style, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it short, not too lengthy, not too minimalistic. And as for the chat guides, I am good with the default settings here. I think this is all the training that we need. Now let's go ahead and finally work on the publishing. So they have different channels on which you can publish this. You can have a standalone, you can have a chatbot agent, and you can even have the embed code right here and embed this directly into your website. And you can have a phone agent and all of the channels that we discussed earlier at the start of this video. And it is quite easy to actually share this. You can just click on copy link and you can post this anywhere on your social media or you can run an email campaign. So this is really up to you. Let's go ahead and have a preview of what we have built. I'm just going to click on preview here. And this is how our agent is going to look like. So we have the nice Skill Cup logo here, the name, and uh, it is a customer support agent. And we have the welcoming text here. Hello, I'm Alex, an AI agent here to help. So it has different suggestions right here. So I want to explore Skill Cup courses here. So they have courses in artificial intelligence and cloud technologies. What if I want to collaborate on a YouTube video or I want to sponsor a YouTube video? So I'm just going to go ahead and say, I want to sponsor a YouTube video. There you go. Now it should actually go ahead and set up an appointment. So it's asking me what date and time works for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and say 6th March and I want the appointment to be at 11 a.m. There you go. Now it says that the appointment will be scheduled on 6th of March, 11 a.m. Do you want to confirm this appointment? Yes, I confirm. Now it's asking me for a name. So I'm just going to go ahead and say Shamri is here. And it's probably going to ask me for my last name as well. So it's going to be, let's see here. 
and it might ask me about the email that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and say shamriz.perviz at stilkirk.com. There you go. Now it has all the information it needs, my name, my last name, and my email. So this should be more than enough. So now we have the thank you message and it's asking me, would you like to provide more details about the reservation you'd like to make? I'm just going to go ahead and say, that's it. And now it's asking me if I need further assistance, I can go ahead and ask it. But I think this is more than enough. Now let's actually go ahead and check out our calendar. And as you can see on 6th of March, it has an appointment for 10 a.m. And if I click here, you can see the guest name, which is Shamrez Perez and the email that I just provided here. So this is pretty cool. Another cool feature is that you can have a responsive style to your AI agent. It can work on tablets and even on mobile phones. So it should look something like this on your mobile phone. So with that said, I think this is more than enough explanation of how you can create your own AI agent and how powerful of a platform your home is. And with that said, I want to wrap this video up. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.